Morning, afternoon, and evening, social media fam. We're back. Um, happy Friday and Happy New Year. Um, we haven't done this in a long time, and we decided to do it, um, even though it sounds like we're at the theater, but we're really not, and we are. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna review a movie again. We haven't done this in a long time. Um, we're gonna try to do it regular regularly. It's actually going to be my New Year's resolution to post something every Friday. Not something about me per se, because we there's enough of that. But uh, that's my New Year's resolution: post post something that we can all have some common ground upon, like maybe a good movie or the um, warning to stay away from a bad movie. And so today we're gonna to review, let me get this right. Yeah, I got it right. Um, we're gonna re review this person right here. It's gonna hot, huh? Um, we're gonna review her, uh, WW84. And um, we saw, we loved the first movie. We were in agreement on that, came about two years ago. Um, and if you like what we're doing, cause we're gonna to continue to do this, hit subscribe, like, like, make a comment, and even share. And we'll continue to do this. Uh, I think next, I even gonna, I'm not gonna say that movie we're gonna do next week, but um, I'm rambling, I'm doing my screen rant. Got anything you wanna say, Dominique, about what we're gonna do? Um, no, we just missed doing this for you guys and uh, can't wait to watch the movie. She, she's the silent partner. So hold on, I'm gonna, we're gonna give you a little bit of trailer mix. Ooh, that was kind of cool, wasn't it? Trailer mix, trail mix. We're gonna do a, a little show to show you the trailer, which you've probably already seen before, and then we'll be back. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. The time will come, Diana. And everything will be different. Citizens of the world. I'll be here to change your life. Anything you want. Anything you dream of, you can have it. You look like you saw a ghost. Diana, look at you. It's like now one day has passed. I don't want to be like anyone. I want to be an apex predator. You've always had everything. Well, people like me have had nothing. Well, now it's my turn. Get used to it. There's always more. The way I fly, they will never find us. I forgot to tell you. What? Radar. Will they will they shoot at us? Barbara, what did you do? So keen on this one, I figure uh, you are, but you know what? I'm ready to go. I think we can do better. Parachute pants? Yeah. Um... Does, it, does everybody parachute now? We're back. And, you know, we're going to go, we're going to let Dom, Dom go first. Since I, since I kind of intro it, and we're going to let ladies first, first of the new year, we're going to do things right. What you, what did you think, Dominique? Okay. Um... I kind of went into this movie expecting, um, I don't know, I guess I was just kind of expecting it to be similar to the last movie, or her first, the first Wonder Woman movie, and just maybe expanding on a little bit with a different um, uh, bad guy and that kind of thing. Um, so when we saw the first scene, I was kind of 
a little bit confused because they, I don't want to give too much away, but they kind of went back to her um, origin story again in the first, um, the first scene. And I thought we had already done that. We had already seen, you know, her origins in the first movie. So, you know, I was given a little bit of, um, given that, giving the, the producers some leeway, maybe this will help us, you know, figure out the, the rest of the, the movie. Um, I have to say that I think the movie overall was cheesy. Um, um, not very imaginative. I think a lot of, a lot of what they did has already been done and maybe better. <laughs> um, so uh, um, I think a lot of the special effects look, look corny. Um, um, the, the idea, the, the premise of the movie was kind of off. Um, I, I wasn't, I wasn't mad, mad enough at the bad guy for, <laughs> for it to be, um, you know, me to even care or want, uh, Wonder Woman to beat him up. So <laughs> it's just, for me, it was just a bust. It was not good. I, I mean, somebody will probably like it, but for a superhero movie, um, a follow-up to the first movie um, that she did, I kind of give it a thumbs down. Woo! You rarely give thumbs down. I do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I might have to go against you just so we, we, we're, you know, no, I'm, you know what, let me speak on something before I give my review. It's okay to dislike a movie and to critique it. There are enough movies out here that we can't see them all. And it's not like when we were coming through the ranks and we have four channels and we had TV went off at 12. So there's a lot to see and there's a lot of mess. There's a lot of movies and TV shows that aren't that good, just like books. Um, there are a lot of books that's not that good and to waste time on them. Um, I use a quick analogy. If I go to a restaurant and an expensive restaurant in particular and the food sucks, I feel it's, it's my duty to come out and tell my friends, and, I, and you guys are my friends, um, that the food's no good. Don't spend your money there. So I'm looking at the movies the same way. And we want these people in the theaters are making, these, these, move, these actors and um, movie folk, film folk, as I'll call them, are making hundreds of thousands and, at some, and to some degree, millions of dollars. So let's hold them accountable so they give us good product. And that's what, now what movie were we reviewing? WW8. Okay, Wonder Woman, that's right. Okay, so what did I think? Let's, let's go with that intro again. Dominique hit on the intro. I, I happened to see the intro um, on YouTube. I watched a little bit of it and I stopped because I like to go in and not have all these things worked out for me already. To me, it was a Harry Potter rip. It really, although it was a part of the theme, I think, truth, it kind of, but it just, the music was good, just not really, it, that intro was not necessary, back to the origins, like you said. And then to, to go further, the music, to me, it was a missed opportunity. I don't know why, I'm sure I'll figure out and somebody will say why we picked 1984 as a setting, a time, I, do you know? No. Okay, it's not significant, it's not like a long time ago, maybe because I was around and I was an adult telling my age in 1984. You were too. I was not an adult. Okay. Um, anyway, so 1984, why 1984? It's not that significant in time to make a difference. The cars, yeah, they changed a little bit, but here's where I thought they could have made a good impact. Um, it, was a great, it was a great idea to come up with a soundtrack that, that embodied 1980 and embodied the 80s. That's the big difference, 80s music. music. Missed opportunity there. Again, villain, who was the villain? I mean, the girl or the, the guy, again, no real Thanos behind this, right? No real villain, even though I like Thanos. Um, no real villain. Um, cheesy effects, first scene after the intro. I was wondering, was it, um, who did the CGI? I mean, it's just like, really? And, and I felt bad for the act, actors, for Gael Gadot, um, who, who was coming through ranks, just not a good vehicle for her. 
is in Chris Pine or Captain Kirk, as I like to call him, who I really like is Captain Kirk, but no real chemistry. The chemistry that was there in the first movie, not really there in this movie. They weren't bad actors, but their motivations were wrong. The script, there was not a lot to the, the plot, childish, the writing weak. Man, I'm going off on this film. Right? <laughs> it just wasn't because because the first one was so good. And you said one more thing. We don't usually talk, but you did say something. I want you to touch on it again. You talked about superhero movies. Just say that, and then, then I'll close that. What you said about, it might be, we just out, you speak oh, on I it. I said, um, you mean when we were talking about it before this? Yeah. Um, I, I think um, they might have just done everything that they can do for superhero movies. I mean, we've, the superheroes have fought aliens, they fought gods, they fought, um, you know, all the, the bad guys. There's, you can't go any higher then, you know, they've saved the world many times from nuclear attacks, destruction, all that kind of stuff. There's nothing left for the superheroes to do. They've, they've, they've reached their apex. So I think it, it may be time to put the superhero movies, all of them to rest. Let the superheroes sit down for a little while <laughs> until our generation's kids um, have kids. <laughs> and then they're able to come up and watch new stories for the superheroes because right now i think we've seen it all everybody has has all of the superheroes have defeated all of the possible evils in the world um and so there's nothing left to do so now it's just it's really it's just annoying <laughs> in, in the words of my students they doing too much <laughs> they doing too much <laughs> okay they doing too much and you irritate, they irritate. They irritate. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think we're giving, I mean, and it was, here's one more thing. I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going to keep y'all anymore. It was two, two and a half hours long. If you come in two and a half hours, you better bring it. Okay. Okay. Y'all know Mr. Winston got ADHD, Mr. Winston. You know, <laughs> you, know you know, I think, I, I don't know if that's true, but what I'm saying is two and a half hours. If I was in the theater, mm -hmm. Yeah, you got you got to bring a movie for two and a half hours. I did get a small nap in there. Yeah, see, <laughs> I was I was nudging her. Was not holding my attention. Like yeah, that. two hours and thirty minutes for that. All right. I mean, again, it wasn't that like Donald's was coming. No, that yeah, Donald's was a little bit more. All right. So, anything else that we good? I think I'm good. So, I so at the end, I I'm going to again subscribe if you like. Please comment like share if you think one of your buddies or whatever share just share you guys share it's good to share and um and we're gonna give something away i was gonna give the dv something wonder woman-ish i'm gonna send we're gonna pick one of the comments somebody who commented or shared and we're gonna do a big raffle and i'm gonna send something to somebody so comment get involved we want we want to we want the um we don't like talking to nobody so again happy new year I'm gonna keep saying that. Um, and there's gonna be some more stuff on this little take, so stick around for my cut. Not cut money-wise, but you know, like movie <laughs> cut. All right, and two thumbs down on Wonder Woman. Sorry. Sorry, and, and, she, and I wanted to be her after the first movie. I wanted to anymore. be Wonder Woman. I was doing this and everything. And it's okay to <laughs> like a movie and say you like it and why. And it's okay to dislike a movie. You shouldn't be called a hater. Because we're not haters. I'm just giving you my opinion. And and it's some and me and her chant differ all the time. Okay, and she ain't tried to kick me out yet. So it's okay to hate a movie. And it's okay to like it. You're not an idiot, even if you like the worst, if you like the worst movie that got 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, that's what makes us go forward. Agreeing to disagree. We need more of that. All right, that's all I have. Okay. See you guys. Bye.